Then we move on to machine learning. Uh, so Cloudera recently merged with Hortonworks. The new Cloudera is twice the size of the company. I, I sort of, uh, I'm sure, sure you folks are familiar with Cloudera and Hortonworks. We have discovered that we really were twins separated at birth. So as we brought these two companies together, one of the first things that we needed to do was to take the sets of accounts that we both were looking at and figure out which ones were the important ones that both of our companies were focused on. So we did a bunch of different machine learning algorithms in this space because, as you probably know, most data sets don't have really good, high-quality, unique identifiers. So uh, the unique identifiers uh, weren't working. We had to do a lot of string distance analytics to use URLs and addresses and things like that. And then the algorithms gave our sales operations folks confidence scores on which, which set of customers should we actually all be focused on together now that we're one company. And then after we brought those data sets together, the next thing we need to do, so we just merged at the beginning of January, now we need to organize our sales force and sort of reassign accounts to the right folks. So which ones out of all those that we now have should we really focus on? In this case, we used, some, we used our Cloudera Data Science Workbench, some of our underlying tools, a lot of open source plugin tools into the Data Science Workbench to cluster, to do an unsupervised machine learning algorithm, to cluster the accounts that looked alike. And then we layer on top of it which of the accounts have already bought and been successful with our products and with their data. And that gives us a great indication as to the other businesses out there that could be much more successful using their data. From there, we actually stepped inside our accounts and we looked at where do we have opportunities that have already been identified? Where do we have things in the pipe? And we looked at the behavior of those accounts over time. How much have they purchased from us? Have they used professional services? Are their people trained? Do they have strong executive champion? How much are they already consuming of the products that they've already purchased? And in that place, we did a lot of feature engineering and built out a model that was sort of fairly complex in nature. And it brings me to another portion of Cloudera that we were able to leverage internally to make sure that we could do these algorithms much better. So we have a, um, a services organization called Fast Forward Labs. Fast Forward Labs does two interesting things. One is they advise on recommending models that you can use to produce the best results that you have. And the second thing they do is they provide a lot of research in the space of data science and machine learning and, and AI. And the great thing about this is I've got a small data science team. They're super bright. They're really smart. But they can't possibly be connected to all of the things that are happening out in the data science and the AI world. So they leverage the advisory services and the research from Fast Forward Labs. And then the last piece here is that we serve our analytical insights directly into some of our web applications. In this case, we serve a lot of our research and our analysis on our diagnostic bundles into a web application that our support team uses. And we're able to predictively open 11% of our support cases just based upon the knowledge that we get from those models. <clears throat> 